Do you want to know more about marketing a self-published book? Would you like to have the unfair advantage over other authors? Hey, Dale, Dale, Dale. Hey, Benjamin, what's up? Uh, I was, uh, I was just getting ready to tell them about marketing a self-published book. Uh-uh, uh not today. We've heard it all before. Can you give us something different? Uh, what about Amazon ads? Heard it. How about video marketing? Mm, that's better. Author collaborations? Hmm, okay, I like the way you're going. This is getting warmer. I give up. That's okay, because I've got a unique way for marketing a self-published book, so stay tuned. This is Self Publishing with Dale, and if you'd like to learn more about how to publish books that sell and build an unstoppable author brand, make sure that you subscribe and turn your notifications on so you don't miss a single video. Okay, I'll take it from here, Dale. Let's be honest, one-off videos are fantastic. Oh, they certainly can be, if you're just as fantastic at writing great scripts. And it also helps if you have an audience to then share it and get the virality baked in. It can be really great. But not all of us are good at doing those things. or We don't have time to do it. So I want to just challenge you to switch your mindset from producing one video to producing something more like 30 videos. And I know that sounds mad, counterintuitive perhaps, but it doesn't necessarily have to mean 30 times the work or effort. What I'm specifically talking about is an online summit, which can be an incredibly powerful way to build your authority in the space and really help broaden your reach across a wider audience, which is fantastic if you are starting out and don't yet have that audience, as well as if you're slightly further down the line and already have an audience, but are looking to build it out even further. Now let me share with you two things that make a successful summit and why I believe that that then helps you uniquely uh, in your space to, to really capitalize on that opportunity. To the, so the two things that make a successful summit. Number one, you kind of need to be creating content that is centered around a single subject or common theme at the very least. And number two, there needs to be a big enough audience out there that cares about that subject matter and ideally is super passionate about it. Now, as an author, this is where you are uniquely positioned because you are already focused on a particular niche or genre. And if you're doing it right, there's almost certainly going to be a bunch of people out there across the world that care about that particular genre. And in most cases, they are definitely super passionate about it. But how does that save us time? It's great that we have the subject matter, it's great that we have a potential audience out there. How do we get it to that audience? And how is it even feasible that we can create 30 or 40 talks that mean that we don't then have to create all of that extra workload for ourselves? And this is where unique, uh, where summits are really, really great at helping us in that area. So we can invite 30 or so speakers to talk at our summit. And now these speakers don't have to be high-flying people that, uh, you know, the big publishers, the penguins out there. They can be smaller publishers. They can be other fellow self-publishers. They can even be readers, your, your, your typical reader that just cares or has a particular insight about your genre or particular story to tell or journey or, or something else. When you then have found each of those speakers, they themselves take responsibility for creating the content. Whether it's pre-recorded or broadcast live, it's down to them to actually come up with the content. So straight away, you're not having to create 30 or so talks yourself. You, of course, you might just apply a bit of quality control, but that's far less than having to create it in the first place. And from a readership, sorry, from an audience standpoint and exposure, each of those speakers will share it with their audience and as a bigger piece of the pie, each speaker is then exposing themselves to a wider audience. And of course, you as the host, as the organizer of this summit, by definition, gets access to that entire audience as well. And this is great for both parties, this, or all parties, in fact, all three of them. The speaker gets to talk at an event that is focused around the subject matters that they care about. They get to build a wider audience and an authority in their space. The attendees get to watch content that they actually care about. It's focused around a particular theme, but also um, focused around a few days. So it's nice and um, uh, co you know, conscious with their time. Um, and you as the organizer get to build that authority um, around that particular subject matter and grow a audience. 
uh, in a really, really meaningful way and connections and, and everything else. And if it works well, you can repeat it every six months or every quarter. There's lots of other things you can do with summits. You can, might even sell tickets and access, so it could be a revenue generator. But really, the purpose of this talk today is just to focus on the benefits from an authority and a, and, and, and a, and a building exposure standpoint. But you can also do things like um, selling it, which could be really, really great. The great news is that we've built a platform that helps you deliver a summit without too much fuss and pain. Head over to heysummit.com. We've got a 30-day trial uh, and we can help you get set up. Thanks very much.